Hey, good morning. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single day to help you in growing your business. And today, we're going to talk about realtor goals for 2023. Uh, as you push through January, February, and beyond, it's very important to stay really focused on what you're trying to create this year. Like, what do you think is the theme of what you should be doing with your real estate business? Big one for me has been getting more market share, getting more eyeballs to know who I am. And that's certainly a big goal for real estate agents. Uh, no matter where you're at in this country, the number one thing that you're fighting is obscurity. Not enough people know who you are. It's not competition that's beating you. It's not enough people know that you're good at what you do. You provide a great service. They can be better off by using you than not you using you as their realtor. So it's important for you to get that message out. Uh, as an example, some of the things that I'm doing here is building my YouTube channel. You're a realtor. You should be doing this. People go to YouTube to learn, and they should be learning about services that you offer, as well as how you can help them with avoiding issues when buying a home, You know some of the common mistakes that come up, some of the opportunities when buying or selling a home. You should be educating your consumer. So uh, the beginning of the year, I said, you know what? Let me jump back into my YouTube channel here again. We had, I don't know, January 1st, we had about 6,000 subscribers, something like that. It was very small compared to how huge I've done on Facebook. Uh, but I said, you know what? Let me start building this. And I know the more content that I put out, as long as it's helpful, as long as it truly helps the my customer, which is real estate agents, as long as it adds value to them and, and it helps them in growing their business, we'll see our account grow. Uh, and we're certainly seeing that because it's really just about getting more people to know what it is that you do, what you offer, and how you can help them uh, with what it is that you do. So uh, the big theme for you should be to know that the market has changed. There's not money running through the streets anymore. You can't just, you know, you have 200 people on your sphere of influence and that's plenty of business because everybody's buying or selling. That's gone. That market has disappeared. You are feeling a slowing of the real estate market for sure. And that's true no matter where you're at in this country. So what you have to do is start thinking, okay, it's not easy anymore, but I can be good at marketing. I can get my message out more because those 200 people that are on my sphere, I want to make it 500 and then 5,000 and then 8,000 and then 10,000. I want to keep growing. I don't have to meet them in person. I don't have to have sold them a home in the last 10 years. I can actually provide value online, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, all of these different ways that you can show off what it is that you do. Yes, you got to get comfortable being on camera. You have to get comfortable with it. You got to be cool with that. So what? That's like it's they're going to see you when you get there anyway. So all of the issues that agents have with, I don't like how I look. I look fat on camera. I look old on camera. Nope, that's just what you look like. So let's be rich and old and fat all at the same time. I got this week, I'm uh, featuring a horrible haircut, the worst I've ever had, literally crooked, like a crooked haircut. Who cares? Still got great value. Keep on going. Uh, your hair will grow out. Right. So um, I think you'll find that when you get over yourself and you start realizing that people actually want help, they they love for you to provide value for them. I think you'll find that you will get a lot more subscribers, followers, even people that are pixeled that will see your offers, that will see uh, any listings that you have that will eventually say, you know what, this is the realtor that I want to use when it comes time for me to buy or sell. And in doing so, you can get truly tens of thousands of people that are interested in what you have to say. Now, every single person I've ever talked to is like, oh, well, it's just little old me. What would I have to say? Why, why would anybody want to watch me? Because you provide value for them. The same reason you watch me. So all of the agents that, uh, and by the way, if you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, Click the subscribe button here and ring the bell so you can get notified every time I have a new video that comes up, uh, you know, but you'd be surprised how many real estate agents don't even have a YouTube account. You literally click a button and put in your email address and you set up a YouTube account for free. You'd be surprised how many agents are missing out on business opportunity, on growing their business, on getting good ideas, good marketing approaches, because they haven't even set up a YouTube account. It's literally click the button, put in your email address and confirm. 
and you've got an account and then you can follow the people that are important to you that can help you in growing your business. But anyway, back to our topic here, your your uh, theme of the year needs to be to get more famous, to get people in your market area to know you, like you, and trust you, to see what you do, to hear your voice, to see your face, to realize, to, to put you at a much higher credibility factor. Because you sitting in your house, hoping you're going to get enough business from the 200 people that know you, like you, and trust you, is a definite recipe for disaster. You have to get more people to know who you are. How do I grow my sphere? You know, the old school approach was networking groups. I got to go to a charity event. I got to go to a networking. I got to go to a, um, what was the thing? I can't remember the name of the uh, Toastmasters, right? To go learn how to speak and all of that stuff. No, you don't have to do that anymore. It's too easy. You can just use your phone and you can just shoot a quick video. It's so easy to do that. So that is networking. That is communicating with people and showing them what it is that you do. So what I want you to do for 2023 is I want you to really think through how can I get more people to know me, like me, and trust me. That's going to come from you doing video and growing your following, wherever that is. I don't care what you use, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever it is, you have to grow the number of people that know who you are, know you're a real estate professional, and that you can provide some kind of value for them. You can educate them, make sure they avoid some, some conflicts or some issues that may come up, common issues that come up for real for uh real estate purchasers or sellers, as well as opportunities that they may have never considered before. Awful lot of people are thinking of renting right now because interest is too high, right? They're like, I want to pay 100% interest on my rent. I, I just want all of that to go away, right? That makes more sense to them. So you got to really think through the content you're providing. As an Inner Circle Coaching member, we have tons of content examples, uh, video ideas, um, you know, what do I talk about? We have all of that inside the member site there. So go in there, find a couple of things that you think would be attractive for you that you can very easily spit out when I give you that outline and then put some content out there. Content is what makes you famous. Content is what creates that credibility. So uh, get out there and hustle. Let me know what I can do to help you. If there's anything at all uh, that I can do to help you, look at the video description. Uh, if you are not a member with us for some reason, there's some training down there that'll help you and show you how we can start getting you closing more business. Let me know your thoughts about this. What are your goals for 2023? Let me know down in the comments section here. What are your goals for 2023? Does it involve media? Does it involve getting out there more, getting more people to know you? Uh, or is it just, I need to make more money. I need to sell more houses and no real game plan to make it happen. Let me know in the comments. We'll talk to you soon and bye-bye for now.